Hi, I'm Lynn Langett, and this is a short video about working with external reference data to improve the quality of your knowledge base in SQL Server 2012 Data Quality Services. So the first step is in the Data Quality Client, click the Configuration button, and then there's two different types of external uh, information you can associate here. One is from the Windows Azure Data Market, and uh, what you'll need to do is get a key, and once you paste that secret key in here, your account key, you'll then validate it. And I'll show you where to get this in just a second. And then what'll happen is any of the services that you're subscribing to in Windows Azure Data Market that are uh, designed to work with DQS will be available. And I'll also show you that in a second. But before we go there, I wanna show you also in this uh, reference data tab, you can add another uh, third party reference services. So any third party reference services that um, have public data available either for free or for a charge, you fill out this information, name, description, category, schema, URI, batch size, and account ID. And then though that information will be available as well. So let me jump out and show you and close this and show you what this looks like in the Windows Azure Data Market. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause while I bring that up. All right, here I am in the Windows Azure Data Market where you can sign up for a free account and then you need to find some data sets that can be exposed to DQS to provide valid uh, domain values. So um, it wasn't really super easy to find out which ones were available. You couldn't, not that I could find, you couldn't do a search or anything and say work with DQS. So I actually watched the DQS team videos and I saw that they used this digital trowel. So I signed up for it. Um, be aware that these mostly services seem to have a charge, but they do have a free trial. So you can do a thousand records per month. And this is a company name match service. Um, and you can see down at the bottom that it says it associates with DQS. So the documentation, you know, this is new stuff. So the documentation is a little bit light. This is a little bit hard to find. So um, I've associated my key in DQS. I've signed up in Windows Azure Marketplace. So now let's go back to DQS and I'll show you how you can apply these values to your knowledge base. So inside of here, I'm gonna open up a knowledge base and I'm gonna select domain management. I'm gonna pause the video while this comes up because this is a, our um, RC0 bits and it usually takes a second to come up. Now I'm inside of domain management and I've added a new domain company name by just clicking the add domain, the typical way that we've seen how to do in earlier videos. And now I'm gonna click on reference data and I'm gonna just get rid of what's there and I'm gonna browse. And you'll see that um, digital trial will come up and I'll give some information about it. And then um, it'll say this, uh, this has company name information. And then we're gonna map it to company name and if I wanted to map more information like um, city, state, and zip. You know, I wanted to do uh, composite information. I could do that. Now this domain I created is a single domain, so it only has name on it. I mean, most probably I would create a composite here because this source has company name, address, city, state, and zip, and, I'm, and country. I might as well t take advantage of all this by using a composite domain. But for the purposes of the demo, I'll just do company name. And I'll say OK. And then notice here, I have an autocorrect threshold of 0.9 and a suggested candidates of four. So now when um, I'm working with the domain, this data will be used in processing the domain for suggesting um, domain values. So um, it's as easy as that to work with this external data. You simply configure it and then uh, you just associate it here in your particular domain. And then uh, these external data um, providers can be used for you to improve the quality of the values of your knowledge base. And really that's the core and key of data quality services. So um, I'm Lynn Langett, and for more information about all things data, go to www.lynnlangett.com and look for more videos about data quality services as I continue to work with this new technology. Thank you.